mean, you're extremely confident, but Crawford is, you know, pound for pound, probably the best fighter in the world. Um, WBO champ, Hall of Famer, 38 and 0. But you're just saying that you're just going to kick his ass. Like, it doesn't really matter. So, is it something that you see in Crawford that you're just like, eh, he's good and all, but he does X, Y, and Z wrong? Or do you just feel that you'll kick his ass, you'll kick Spencer's ass? Anybody, really. (laughs) Look, what a. You know, in a fair fight, I can beat absolutely anybody. And that's just what it is. I believe in myself. I believe in God. And most people don't believe. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in in a fair fight. But I've been in plenty of fair fights. Now, most of these young fighters, they ain't been in a fair fight. There's always something that fucking puts puts them in a in an edge. Everybody wants these like uh these um these fake setups. You know, everybody, everybody wants wants an edge over their opponent to such an extent that it's not even a fair fight. Bro, get a fucking fair fight. You know what I mean? And like so when I say that like in a fair fight I beat anybody, because in a fair fight, I beat everybody. You know what I mean? A lot of guys that have more than enough time to prepare. And then I come in there and destroy them. You know, Maurice Hooker came in there in like unbelievable dog shape. You know what I mean? He trained with with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is saying, oh, he's going to knock him out in the first three rounds. And then he gets annihilated in the first three rounds. You know why? Because Blair Flair ain't no goddamn joke. Blair Flair fucked that dude up so bad that even Terrence Crawford's like, oh shit, I don't know what's going to happen. Give him the movement. Run. Do something. Get out of there. <laughs> you know, he's get out of there. But, you know, yeah, he needs to get the fuck out of there. Because Blitter Flair ain't no goddamn joke. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like a joke. He might be a clown. But what now? That's what it's about. So Blitter Flair is out there to entertain and put on a big show. And um, it's, just not, it's just not enough. Like, people don't know what the fuck I'm capable of. So... When you see like a Blitter Flair talking and popping his shit off about uh, somebody of the likes of Terrence Crawford with supreme confidence, that raises a lot of eyebrows because you really don't know what the fuck I'm capable of. So you know? If, if you can't get Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, none of the champions, uh-huh. who else would you want? All of them. Every single one of them. Well, Ain't nobody calling each other out. Well, well, wait, they got a lot of top young contenders. Ain't calling each other out. So here's your chance. Name somebody. Who's name? Every who, single who, who, one of them. But Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz. I thought we were supposed to fight right after that last fight. What happened? You know what I mean? I got nothing but respect for Virgil. I got nothing but respect for uh, for Golden Boy Promotions. But what happened? Is, is, um, is he also a guy that you kind of look at in the in the Terrence Crawford vein? Could you just like you'll kick Terrence Crawford's ass? Are you, do you think it'll also be one sided if you fought against Virgil? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But he would say he would say opposite, and a lot of fans would say opposite. But yet, every time I show up, there's a big upset, and in a fair fight, without a fucking four week notice three week notice like Alexis Rocha you see something amazing that happens in that fucking ring every single time so let's see what happens in a fair fight against Blair Flair you want to see you want to see money you fight Blair Flair ain't there ain't nobody that can promote more than Blair Flair you want to see a you want to see your guy get tested fight him against Blair Flair in a fair fight let's see what the fuck happens because these like these little these little setups, these circumstantial gains ain't getting you nowhere. You know what I mean? We don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't people don't like to get tested until they're already there at the at the world title. You know, we want to see what happens as you go up the rankings. So like with that being said, the people's champion needs to see what the hell happens and um the people wants to see it too. Thank you, Thanks, Mayor. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.